front of me right now, we've got Liv Carson, who's the director of the radio and press company. Um, they do. And Liv is here to shine a light, mainly on radio today, aren't you? Exactly, yes. I mean, me, me working in radio and um, Liv working on the sort of side of the bands and artists, um, we've crossed paths numerous times over our, our like last decade or so, haven't we? Mm-hmm. <laughs> quite a lot yes <laughs> but, I mean like the, the 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 main question is like I, I remember when I started people would talk about like a plugger mm-hmm. and I was like I had no idea what that meant I would just like nod when people would chat I'd be like going what what is a radio plug what is that what is that so like I mean if somebody's listening to this now and, and is in the same situation I was back then what would you say yeah exactly the same for me to be honest um I mean my first job was at a radio station working on the production side of things and people kept saying the word radio plugger um and I had no idea what it was either um it's quite a niche job I guess in the industry but it's a very very important one um and I think yeah the reason I really wanted to get into it is because obviously it's it's totally music focused Mm -hmm. and it's, it's all about the artists that you work with which was something for me that I really wanted to get into um it's something that I felt really passionate about um and yeah it's 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 an interesting job it is at its most basic it is we are the people that work for the artists and we are almost the the middleman I guess between the radio stations and and the artist music um so you know we we kind of work kind of on the A&R side I guess as well we kind of work closely with all the labels, all the managers and the artists themselves um, choosing the singles, which kind of focus tracks that we're going to take to the stations. And we try and build it really. So we try and get spot plays on on different shows across different stations. And then I guess the ultimate kind of um, thing that you want from it is is a playlist on one of those stations. So, you know, we pitch for for the playlist and we have to tailor it as well. So it's it's making sure that the, the type of music suits a certain station um and yeah that's that's it ultimately like when 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 I was coming through in bands like uh you know getting on the radio was super important because it was really the only place that people would hear your music apart from like back in the old days where you would like spread it around MySpace and and things like that (laughs) um but like radio is still almost as important as it as it was like you know I mean not a lot of kids coming through probably don't listen to radio um, in the same way that numbers were beforehand, but radio still has a big part to play in, in breaking an artist, doesn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. I think it's still incredibly important, especially for, for new artists. And, you know, we, we really use it to our advantage and it, it still sells tickets and it gets, it gets artists known and, you know, there's there's definitely routes to to doing it as well. So you start with certain specialist shows on like, you know, for example, like Radio One um, and just kind of build it through into daytime. So, yeah, it's it still feels really important. And I think there's a lot of avenues um, that you can go down for new artists um, and build it from there, really. Like when, when you get to the point where you you have a radio plugger, generally you're doing fairly well or you're you're on your way there. It's not something that you would suggest somebody who's just starting out to do right from the get-go, would you? Not usually, but we have had examples of it where um, where artists directly will, will get in touch. Um, and if we feel like, you know, there is just a track that is so instant and that there's kind of enough going on and you can really see a clear, clear path for it, that we might take something on really incredibly early and, and almost build it out of radio. Um, but, but a lot of the time I would say it's it's, good to kind of put some tracks out yourself get a, you know if you can play live get a bit of a fan base and get a bit of a story going and then we really have stuff to talk about with those stations and those you know producers and presenters can can kind of really chat about it so yeah I would usually say that's the best route but not always you know we can be surprised sometimes by how how good a track is and and you can really sort of see see a path for an artist so you want to take it on as early as possible obviously like building that that to that um, arena where you can take on like a radio plugger or like, you know, have a, have a team or a manager around you, you need to do quite a lot of things. You need to put releases out. You need to have a little bit of a fan base. You need to ha- have everything sort of looking right. Um, what would your approach be to somebody who wants to go play on the radio, but isn't like is, is doing it themselves. Maybe they don't have the money for it or maybe they're not ready for it. 
Yeah, um, I mean, there, yeah, there's lots of things you can do, obviously, uploading your music online and trying to kind of find a fan base through that way. Um, obviously, the BBC have BBC Introducing, which is always a great way for artists to to upload their music who, who are brand new. And I think just putting yourself out there, really, just just trying to trying to get a bit of an attention and making sure that your music is you know is as good as it can sound um and yeah I mean you can always get in touch with with people like us who work in promotions who you know might take a punt on someone really really new who who might not have the money to probably pay for like a full campaign but sometimes when you feel so passionate about something you know you, you do you do take it on for for a lower amount or something like that so yeah I think it's just you know really putting yourself out there and just trying to get heard as much as possible and having kind of a good pitch I guess to to promotions companies and and managers alike I mean I feel like I can answer this next question because I've like I'm still getting it these days like and you know unsolicited emails to DJs although I hate that term unsolicited like any lip like email has ever been solicited yeah. apart from <laughs> like a divorce or a summons <laughs> very formal <laughs> yeah big time um but like you know say somebody sending out an email to they've, they've got my email or they've got um Gemma Bradley's email or they've got Jack Saunders email or whatever yeah. um at Radio One and they want to get their track played can they just email like the presenters directly? Can they DM them on Instagram? I mean, most people's DMs are open. Um, like, what what are your advice like uh, on that side of things? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely something that you can do. Obviously, if you can, if the DMs are open and stuff, I would imagine those sort of people do get a lot of emails and a lot of messages. So I guess that's where our sort of job comes in to almost filter it for them. Mm -hmm. So you know, we have obviously very good relationships with those shows because it's sort of built on trust. You know, we hope all the music that we bring to them is tailored exactly for for that show and for that taste. Um, so it, it's something that would it would happen a lot faster, I guess, with with having a plugger on board. Um, but I guess it's something you could do. I wouldn't I wouldn't say go mad on it and you know message them like a hundred times a day. <laughs> Might give off the wrong vibe. Um, but yeah, I think you know tweeting um, those presenters if it feels like a, a good fit is is not a bad thing. And the final question, like, uh, what's a good case study of somebody that you've worked with that has like climbed the ladders and climbed the sort of like whole way up? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I say a good one for that is probably Alfie Tumperman, mm -hmm. who uh, Dan and I, who I run the company with, um, both started working with on his debut release. Um, it was something that we we got sent by a manager who was who hadn't actually taken him on at that point, but um, was really interested and kind of asked us what we thought of the track. And for me, it was just such a it was such a moment for for the company that I just I, I could see a, you know a total path for for this guy. And his first track was just amazing; it blew me away. Um, and working from that you know that debut first release and finding his champions and just building it from there really you know now Alfie's had four Radio One playlists; he's been on Radio X, Absolute. Radio 2 and it just it, it's been like an incredible story um so yeah he's he's a really good example um Holly Humberstone is also a really great example of someone who we worked with from the start and someone who's had a very kind of rapid <laughs> incline in her career over yeah, the last super year super fast yeah um and again just incredible songwriter and I think when I first got set in that I just thought you know she, she just felt like a star and it's just been really interesting to kind of build them from the very start and and I think just making sure that you know you're hitting up all the right people but not putting too much pressure on those artists at that time as well and making sure that everyone's pressing the button at the right time um but yeah I, I would say they're really great examples and you know it's something that we really love doing as well just being involved from the very start um and seeing seeing an artist's career kind of develop is 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 great Liv, thank you so much for your time and um i i now know how to get um my next uh banjalili solo onto the <laughs> one a list so yeah easy easy, easy. <laughs> <laughs> nice um, one Phil. thank you so much <laughs>